I love you and hate you. How bound I am to you. How bound I am to break my bondage. I want to be free. I want to be able to enjoy the day again. Giving back my nights. The need you grew still remains. But less and less they s you seem the way to fill that need. Life is not a struggle, it's a wiggle. I've done it to me again. No other being has the power to hurt me as deeply as I do. It is the need, the need for love. I need love because I'm not happy with I. Me is not satisfied with me. In order to stop this hurting, I must reach a point of contentment within myself, and that'll take some reaching. Should I? How about this one? It's the last going. one. Keep going. I love it. I'd, I'd have a nervous breakdown, only I've been through this too many times to be nervous. I remember thinking once that it would be good if you left, because then I could get some important things done. Since you've left, I've done nothing. Nothing is, a, is as important as you. There is no poem on this page, as the poet decided to take a nap. You came and made my house our home. You left making our home my asylum. I wonder if he sent these to uh, <laughs> the people that inspired the thoughts. No. That's what I always wonder too. Someday we're going to be lovers, maybe married, at the very least an affair. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Why must I always fall for chicken shits on ego trips? <laughs> I write only until I cry, which is why so few poems this month have been completed. It's just that I... Who took the L out of lover? <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, this one... That's this for one. you. This one has a little thing at the bottom. Someday I will categorize the circle of pain I put myself through. Every time I get hung up in someone, I'll have a lot of time to do it, too. The insomnia is beginning. The pain that makes you long for solitude, with solitude comes the loneliness that makes me long for you, with you comes the pain that makes me long for solitude. Clouds ingest the moon. Raindrops die with a splat of concrete cosmos. The floodgates are about to burst. A banshee howls over your hump. Banshee's supposed to be with an S instead of a C. But that's... I know what he knows. <laughs> okay, I've done this one. How will it happen? Sounds like the girls are back. <laughs> How will it happen? How will it happen? When I find someone, someone to spend a goodly portion of my life with, it must, I mean, I've been preparing so long. I will. It will happen, yes. I will not dwell on it, only how, when, where. Did I do that one? I ceremoniously disposed of all the objects connected with you. I thought they were contaminated. It did not help. 
I'm the one that's going to run away. Oh, that's not by Peter, that's by Elba. Elba. Anyway, Peach Girl. Oh, uh, how about, no, this one here we've got. It's good. This one has references to actors. Yesterday was Sunday. Sundays are always bad. Bloody as they have often, or as they've been aptly described. The full moon is Wednesday. Full moons are always bad. Ask Lon Chaney. Friday is Good Friday. And 30 miles from Rome, the vibrations of all those morning worshippers will make it bad. Sunday is Easter, and it's also Sunday. And Sundays are always bad. to design books too but I've more or less given that up because I, I don't really like the clients anymore it's too much too much of a hassle so nowadays I just do funny drawings dragons and uh, all kinds of things uh, strange guys playing trumpets followed by birds who all wear uh, Mexican wrestling masks so to protect their identity. And he has a whole band based loosely based on the Tijuana brass. That, uh, oh. Can I had asked Mr. David Shaw if he could just please draw a drawing of my beloved Throckmorton. And he did. And he also did a wonderful drawing of Junior Bear. As you see, Junior has very intense eyes and a big heart. Anyways, <laughs> back to the interview. So, David, how long have you known about, go for it, Peter McWilliams' work? Um, the, since the 1990s. That um, I one day in a, in a library chanced upon Life 101 and got it out and started reading it. And, uh, I liked it so much I got some of the sequels. I didn't read Wealth 101, but there were other, there, there's more than more than Life 101. And, and I eventually got, uh, you can't afford the luxury. I can't afford the luxury of a negative thought, which has always been one of my philosophies anyway. But uh, so anyway, that book um, helped back up my own thoughts. Wow. And then I found Life 102. Uh oh, da 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 da. Uh, which was Peter's. The, the subtitle was What to Do When Your Guru Sues You. 